Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I have kind of a show and tell for you guys today of something that I made. Um, I used an old envelope like this. This envelope is probably well over 100 years old. Um, I got it out of a box of old valentines that my great-great-grandmother had um, in her little variety store in a small town where I grew up. But anyways, she had a little store and had these really awesome like vintage valentines and cards and stuff and a bunch of the um, envelopes were left over and they didn't fit any of the cards that were left so I just used one of them <clears throat> kind of figured a good repurposing thing and I may have another idea um, for those vintage valentines that I'll be showing you guys in the future but anyway for right now it's this type of envelope that opens just on one side you could make it open on the other but I just left the one side open. I folded it like this to um, make like a little book and then it'll have a pocket opening right here. And this is what I came up with. I just used a lot of my scraps. Most of the paper is Graphic 45 um, from both of the fairy. One is uh, Once Upon a Springtime and the other one's the new fairy one. And I can't remember the name of it, but um, anyway, you'll see some of it in here. So it's Graphic 45 paper anyway. Um, so I put one of the graphic 45 fairy images on here. I found this little book in an antique store that had stories about fairies and it was called A Little Bit of Fairy. And then um, I stitched, because I put seam binding on here, on the, what you would consider the spine, I guess, right along this part of the envelope. Because when I folded these, because they're so old, it kind of started to uh, pop in a couple places and I was afraid that it was going to come apart. So I put this uh, teal seam binding on here and then I stitched all these little like beads and well they're all beads but they, they're like stones and stuff along the edge just to give it some little bit more appeal or you know interest. And uh, this is just a little butterfly. I used one of these in my book. These actually came off of my daughter's, one of her old headbands she's gotten rid of, and I just thought they were so cute, so I stole them off of the headband and I'm using them for scrapbooking or um, junk journals or whatever. So um, this opens like this. There is the pocket right here. I did not open the other end. I left this end closed. Um, so this pulls out. You can write a little something. This is just an image that I found on Pinterest with a fairy and a frog. And I've seen it a lot, so I know it's pretty readily available. And then I found these funny little fairies um, on Pinterest as well. They're like vintage photos of people, and then they have these funny little bodies on them. And I glued the wings on. This particular one didn't have wings, and so I glued it on. And then I've just written a little quote, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And so I'm just sticking that in there, but anything could go in there. And then I made a pocket page. Um, I, this just has one signature, so I just took different papers, put them all together, and I stitched it right down the middle, just one, one signature, okay? But I did make a pocket out of uh, two pieces of paper. These papers were plain on the back, and I think they're old K and Company papers. They were just in my junk, so um, I wanted to use them up. So I just glued along this edge and along this edge on both sides, so on either side of the signature there's going to be one of these pockets and so this comes out there's just another quote and another quote could go there or any kind of little note and then there's another little quote think of the happiest things it's the same as having wings and there's another one of those funny fairies this one did have wings i didn't put the wings on that one it had those funny little wings the doily um, this is part of that story I kind of cut up the whole story and glued it throughout this book. So it's just an old 1920s catalog and it had a little fairy story. So um, it just continues on this page. Another doily. The rest of the story. Or actually, I guess this is the end of the story. And that's exactly how it was in the catalog. It just was one little like page story. This is a little uh, fabric flower that's just circles and the edges are kind of melted a little bit. I didn't make this one, but they're pretty simple to make. You just stack the circles on top of each other and there's a little uh, rhinestone there. 
And another fairy from Graphic 45. And this is, I think, that King Company vellum again. I've had it forever, and I'm like, you need to do something with that. So, and that's the new Graphic 45 fairy paper. And this is one of Tim Holt's paper dolls. I just put some wings on her. And this, this uh, is for somebody I have in mind. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that. And there's a picture under here that I didn't really want anybody to see. It's a family member, and um, I just didn't, didn't want to show it. And then there's a mushroom here. The mushroom stem comes down like this, and I just put some little rhinestones on top of the mushroom. And the little card comes out. This is the other side of the signature. Sorry, this won't come out very well. And there's another place. These pop out like this, and the same on the other one that I did. So you can write on it and stick it back in there. This isn't really news to anybody, I'm sure. But just kind of a fun little thing. So think about it when you have even newer envelopes or whatever, just stuff laying around that... Um, sorry, this does not want to go back in there. Um, you could just use up on a little thing like this, and it's kind of a neat little gift. This is coffee stained index card that I stamped some music notes on the back. You can write another little quote or something fun in there. And that's, this is just a whole open pocket here. And that's the new Graphic 45 Fairy. And I don't remember, I think it's Make-A-Wish or something like that. Super cute though. So anyway, that's just my little show and tell for the day. And again, these uh, Valentines, I probably will be doing something else with them again, so you'll probably get to see more of those if you're interested. Um, just please subscribe. Have a great day.